Hi, I'm Freddy, and I've been dungeon mastering for around 40 years now. And the other day I was reading that while Dungeons & Dragons is at its most popular it's ever been, there's actually a shortage of dungeon masters. So I thought I'd share with you my five top tips on how to become a dungeon master. Tip number one, you don't need to know every rule. When you first pick up the player's handbook and Dungeon Master's Guide, there are hundreds of pages of rules, which can be quite intimidating. But you don't need to know all of them. As long as you've got a basic grasp of the core rules, you can look them up as you play, or just make things up as you go along. Because as long as you're having fun, your players will be very understanding of that. And if you make mistakes, admit to it and move on from that. Tip number two. Don't plan too much. While it might be very tempting to look at everybody else and write out a massive campaign, giving yourself a detailed storyline until how they beat the big bad at the end of the campaign, doesn't really matter for your first adventure. When they're delving into a tomb to find ancient secrets and defeat an ancient evil, or they're protecting a village from an outbreak of zombies, they don't need to know the entire plotline. They just need to know what they're doing this week. So focus on that. Once you start, then you can start building from there. But get started first of all, and just write your first adventure. Tip 3. The players aren't your enemy. While it might be easy to think of yourself as opposition to the players, after all, you're the one putting the monsters there and fighting them, you're the one putting the traps that they have to overcome. The players and you are trying to build a storyline together. So often, you've got to go along with their ideas, and not fight them. So, they'll come up with an idea that they want to go off to a nearby village and ask for help, rather than just using what they've got to fight the zombies that are overcoming the village. And you should go with that. Let them explore it. Because what they come up with together with you can often be a lot more exciting than what you came up with alone, and what you put down on a piece of paper. Tip 4. The rules are only a guide. So, the players are trying to do something, but the rules say that they can't do it. The big bad is more powerful than they're about to slaughter the entire party. Ignore the rules. Make things up. Change things on the players to keep the game fun, to keep the players interested, and to keep your storyline on track. The rules are only a guide to what you should be able to do. You as Dungeon Master gets the final say. And the final say should always be in service of your story and people enjoying your game. And tip 5. Have fun. This is supposed to be a game. And games are supposed to be fun. So, it doesn't matter if you've gone off track, you've left the plot long behind, if everybody's laughing when it's supposed to be serious, if people are having fun then your game's being successful, people will want to come back and play again because they had a good time. So, that should be the overarching rule of any game, especially role-playing games, that you should have fun. So there it is, my five hints for starting Dungeon Mastering. And my biggest clue that you can do it, is that if I could do it at age 11, you've certainly got the skills to start doing it now, and being really good at it. So go out there, start up a game, start Dungeon Mastering, and have a whole load of fun.